Well, I want to thank you for showing an interest in being a chat moderator for Saddleback Online, our internet campus. Uh, a chat moderator is somebody who leads a service, pretty much is the host for one service, and helps guide conversations. As a moderator, you're just there to answer people's questions and kind of guide the discussion. And obviously, you'll have some functionality to be able to block somebody if they're being inappropriate. And we are introducing a new, and, and I believe really is the future of, of, of functionality um, type of an experience for our chat experience. And um, we're using Discuss, which is a great platform if you're not aware of it. You know, I use it on my personal blog, and they just uh, introduced uh, uh, very recently a, a live feature. And I believe it's going to give more ways for people to um, chat. Um, now you're going to be able to chat by logging in with Twitter or your Facebook account or your Google Plus account or some other account. And that way you can be yourself and people can connect better off channels. That way more conversations and connections can happen during a service. You know, the internet campus or Saddleback Online is not very different from uh, any other worship service. It's that people come to our worship experience, which is, um, which is our website, which is saddleback.com slash online. And this is it. This is our, our experience and people are watching. But the, the, the issue is or, or the dilemma is that we don't want people just to watch. We want people to engage, connect, and have conversations. And one of those ways we invite people into that is by having a, ch a chat functionality. And as a moderator or even an assistant moderator, you will serve as kind of the host for that service. You do not need to know all the answers. You do not need to be a guru. You just need to be able to engage and help people connect and kind of moderate the conversation. Everything comes down to we want people to watch the service and, and we want people to get connected into community. They can find a local church, join an online small group, or even uh, learn more about starting a Saddleback extension in their home by bringing people together and watching the service. And you as the moderator, it's just it's that it's that idea is that you're pushing people down that funnel. And the first way is just allowing them to introduce themselves and kind of hang out. And the chat allows that, and I believe this chat, our new functionality, is 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 a better experience. And so let me just show you right now. I'm at saddleback.com slash uh, online or internet campus slash live, and we'll just see right here. The idea is that I can log in now with um, my Twitter account. So I'm already logged in. So now look, I'm actually my Twitter profile, everything logged in, and so I'm just gonna say, uh, you know, I'm gonna do this. So welcome everyone. And so I'll post, and then this will show up. Now check this out. Now, since I am logged into Discuss, and I'll show you that in a second, it pops up moderator right next to it. But I click on this, and it has my profile. And that way people can easily connect with me on Twitter and Facebook and know a little bit about me because I put more info in there. But I, I have an identity. And so people now no longer are going to just see a like text name, but they'll actually see the full person. And I believe this is going to be good because it allows more conversations and also it's going to filter a little bit because more people won't go off the edge and say bad things and kind of go crazy if it's linked directly to their account. And so I believe it's also going to help with moderation too. But check this out. Look, I can comment. I can even reply. So let, let's, um, this is actually all I'm clicked on my discuss, but let's go back to the, the, the discussion tab. But check this out. So Chris, who's one of the guys who helped develop this, um, I can sit here and I can reply to his post only and so we can have more of a conversation just on that. I can like his post by, by clicking. I can negatively like. And a cool thing about this built-in system is that if a post gets disliked three times or marked as spam, spam um, and one way you can do that is you can do, if it gets marked spam, um, it actually will be, uh, automatically deleted after three times of being told pretty much it's spam from the feed and so it's really cool because within all this it's kind of built in moderation and can control but you will still have more rights to be able to control a little bit of the conversation but it's just a little bit more of an organic natural experience and I really like how it's set up and so this is what it will be like and the idea is now you no longer will have to set up and delete the chat the chat will always be open and um, you can kind of see my email and my Facebook notifications are kind of going off. The computer's always active. Now all you got to do is is be present for the service and interact. 
and the service will always be open. So conversations can always happen on our site. People can even share this conversation, which I think is really cool if they just want to do this. You can actually create another window and just chat on a separate window if you like. Um, but there's a lot of great functionalities. People can attach photos and different things from from different um, deals. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, cool functionality. So remember, um, it's just a better experience. You can you can log in with more of your uh, more of your identity on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus. And so as a moderator, what you'll do every service is very simple. I, I definitely, number one, I want you to be praying before. Just stand up a little prayer to God. Okay, God, I'm about to lead the 1115 service or the 1 p.m. service. God, pray that um, that somebody comes into this service that doesn't know Jesus or who's not connected, and I want to be able to answer their questions. And I just want to be you. So first off, I want you to pray for everyone that you will be hosting for the chat and that God brings someone new and that you'll be able to plug them in. Number two, I want you just to be kind of familiar with the internet campus, with what we offer. And so we offer uh, a weekly service that they can engage uh, seven days a week. Um, also, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm your pastor. And so there's actually an online campus pastor and that's me. And you can always uh, direct them towards me by filling out something like this, the response card, where they can just fill this out. And there's tons of uh, things in here like prayer requests, ask a pastor, and down here, um, next steps, I'm committing my life. And so um, just be familiar with what we have is that we want people to watch, but we also want people to connect online in an online small group or in an extension. And the way you can do that is that you can just direct them to the response card. And then, um, so pray, kind of know a little bit about Saddleback. Um, you don't need to know everything because the response card is there to direct them towards if, um, if you don't know an answer. And then third, uh, just be familiar with how to block and kind of uh, use the system. And so it's pretty simple. There's a community function where everybody will be able to delete, blacklist, and moderate. And remember, after three spams, it automatically gets deleted. So kind of tell people, hey, spam that so it kind of gets removed. And then on the back end, what I'll do is that I will give you, a um, for every moderator that I've already talked to on the phone and kind of approved, I will put your email into our system and um, you'll see more functionality. And so after um, after I've after you've identified you want to be a moderator, I will you I will use your email address and I will add you to this. And so what you will do as a moderator before you go to the service, and maybe your, your computer probably will auto um, will probably auto fill it if you don't clear the cache. Um, and so the idea is that you go to you go to discuss.com and you'll just log in. And I'll kind of show you. It's pretty simple. So check this out. Like I'm already logged in because of my system, but all I did was I logged in. And then once you're logged in, you just go to admin. And it will show you the blogs that you're responsible for. Now, I'm responsible for a couple different blogs, but you will only see Saddleback Internet Campus. And so on Saddleback Internet Campus, it shows the most recent um, deal. And so you remember earlier I posted this, you know, welcome everyone, and we're kind of showing the different things. And so that's actually up now. And so now, since I'm a moderator, I have the option to build to delete that. And so look, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that. So now I've deleted that. And now if I go over here, there it is right there. Now if I just refresh my page right here, um, it's already been removed. And so as a moderator, this is very simple. All you do as posts show up, sometimes there's a, there's a it takes a 10 seconds, 15 seconds for it to load up. All you do is log in and you'll just see it. Now, if you are a moderator, you will be able to have a little bit more functionality in here. So you will be able to see more of a list. And so if you're logged in, you'll be able to delete things right in here. But for the full system, you'll go to discuss.com, log in, and you'll be able to see this. And um, something that I can do um, is that I want you just if we do have the ability to blacklist people and block words and usernames. And so what I want you want your help with is that when you come to the service, you're praying, you're familiar with how to get people connected, and then you're just logging in at Discuss. And when you're log in, you'll have this moderator title, so people will know who you are. And I just want um, I want your help in just moderating the services. So at your service, just um, delete inappropriate comments. Majority, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, nothing's wrong. But if you now have the ability, after I've added your email, to delete and remove comments. Now, something that I want you to do, again, is let me know if, if there's somebody that's being inappropriate and um, is really just blowing up the list and you're blocking, deleting, deleting, send me their username, their IP address, or their, um, 
or their account and I can go in and I could I can actually block them permanently and so if someone's really blowing up and spamming and so we want to control this because this is open it's gonna allow for more conversation but some people will abuse it and as the moderator you're gonna help with that but you can see the system's very straightforward it's very simple and it's gonna be really cool for us as moderators to have a little bit more functionality be able to connect with people more on a deeper level and so um, if you're interested in moderating and or if you have any questions about what I just talked about send me an email at jayk at saddleback.com that's jayk at saddleback.com and I would love to just answer a little bit more but once I've talked to you once I've cleared you um, you can go ahead and start moderating and make sure you share this video with somebody that you know who can help serve God in this way and um, this is a huge opportunity to be able to grow our, our service and allow more connections to happen and really you guys are the front lines you you are the ministers the pastors on the internet campus by just allowing for people to ask questions and thank you so much for what you do and so I'm really excited to be able to get you to serve more and, and for you to be able to use this new resource and so don't forget to email me at jayk at saddleback.com and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the chat okay